Let's 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 work let's work the area. Let's work the area. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. So you you are the closest to the red carpet. So you're now on VAKC TV here at the red carpet. So what's your name, sir? I'm Rand O'Donnell for Children's Mercy Hospitals. Children's Mercy Hospitals, both uh, on the downtown and out south. All of them. And uh, yeah, honoree today. How do you feel? Well, well, great. We're very proud to, to sponsor this event and very, uh, very pleased to be here with uh, our honoree, uh, Dr. Milton Fowler. Oh, wait, wait, you're next. Wait, 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 wait. Excuse me, sir. You're the next closest person to the red carpet, so you're now on B-A-K-C, Black Achievers, KC-TV. I came down here for my son, uh, uh, Milton Fowler, Dr. Uh -huh. Milton Fowler. How do you feel about that, your son being an honoree? Really nice, real proud of him. Did you know when he was growing up that he'll one day be considered a Black Achiever here in no, Kansas City? You just never know. You just never know who he's going to be. So as a father, you're honored right now? Oh, yes, yeah, very much so. I think we've scared away everyone from the red carpet. That's what happens typically when I grab the microphone. People go the opposite direction. So, come on over. You're on BAKC TV. How are you doing today? What a pleasure. I'm great. How are you? And I see you have something in your hand. Tell us about it. I do. This is a award for Honeywell Federal Manufacturing and Technologies for our commitment to diversity. How do you feel about being an award recipient tonight? It is quite an honor. Honeywell actually has well over a dozen black achievers at our facility and we have achievers dating back to the initial days of the black achievers so we've been a big supporter of the organization and are pleased to be a supporter of the organization. Why or what do you see this organization doing uh, that to benefit the community that you guys are so happy to be involved with? Sure, I think you can look at the events going on this week. Tomorrow there's a youth development workshop and you will see black achievers milling around that activity with hundreds of high school students. It is a phenomenal event, uh, scholarships. So every year we give out 10, 12 scholarships to deserving students. And then just the opportunity for professionals within the African American community to, um, to have an impact on the community. So. You are an honoree tonight. Tell us how you feel about being honored here at the Black Achievers Award in Kansas. Well, I'm quite honored, actually. Uh, it came as a surprise, and I'm humbled. And I've uh, been with Mercy for over 18 years, and uh, to be recognized and be nominated in such a class, uh, I feel. And of course, here we have the red carpet. Of course, on the red carpet, the one thing we have to know is, what are you wearing tonight? <laughs> oh, uh, Pierre Cardin at this point. So. Pierre Cardin. And Mom, what are you wearing tonight? White linen. Esther Lauder, white linen. Let me see, Michaels of Kansas City. <laughs> Who are you wearing tonight? Who's your stylist? Uh, Steve Harvey. <laughs> Steve Harvey from the Steve Harvey collection. <laughs> hey, God ain't finished with me yet. <laughs> Just make something up. I imagine it's um, Dolce and Gabbana and um... Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein. He was... Who's your stylist? <laughs> me. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Well, I, I'm wearing my red shoes. How about that? <laughs> I know your son back in the day when we used to steal tater tots from girls and throw them at them. Oh my goodness, I look at you every day. Oh gosh, I'm so proud of you and him both. Did you know he used to do that in school? You know what, he did a lot of things I didn't know. I didn't find out till later and I kept saying, my son did that? My son did that? 
but he did this too. So I'm still proud of him. How, just tell us how it makes you feel as a mother. To, uh... oh, I tell you, it is amazing. Every time I look back and think of where he came from, the little boy that grew up to be this wonderful, handsome, smart, intelligent young man, it really brings tears to my eyes. And that's why I know there's a God in heaven. Come down the red carpet. Now, we already spoke to your mother out here on BAKC TV, and she told us that uh, you used to get in a lot of trouble when you were younger. All because of you. <laughs> what did I do? You used to, uh, uh, I was a follower. And so you, if I saw you take a tater tot, I was going to do it. <laughs> That's right. And you are a Chief Black Achiever Tonight Award winner. Tell us how you feel about that. I'm excited. I'm actually honored to be able to represent an organization such as the Black Achievers as well as my company. So I'm just honored and look forward to be, being active in the community with the, along with the Black Achievers.